morning, weather squad. What's happening? It's your boy Matthew Woods here. And in today's video, I'm going to be bringing back a classic on this channel. I mean, it's not relatively that popular on this channel, but I'm going to bring it back. It is called Returning an Autonomous Glider from the Stratosphere. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, I have a video of introducing it. I have a link down in the description down below for that video. It basically introduces what the heck this product even is. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, that is a video to go to first. Let's get into this. For you guys that don't know what happened last time, Here's a little bit of a rewind. So in summary, last time he tried to launch Columbia on two boosters and one motor on Columbia himself. It just didn't go well at all. It was actually supposed to be a launch turned into a static fire that just did absolute extensive damage to the pad. I highly encourage you to check it out. Anyways, let's get into really where the future of this project is going because I hate to say this guys, but this is probably in- Don't take my word on this. This will probably be the finale of this particular series. But I am going to be introducing a new series that I kind of introduced last time. Throw back to that. saying that's complete garbage but that did play somewhat of a role in what I'm about to say so, so let's, let's just get into it. it this is what I'm attempting to launch now this is my brand new first ever a thrust vectored model rocket that I have yet to launch or test in any significant way this is going to be running on the boat flight computer which I built about a month ago I also have it having a built-in chip which is the Omega 328 development board. There's no real creative name for it. Essentially, the Bolt Flight computer has a BMP 280, which can, you know, read altitude, temperature, pressure, all that. It also has an MPU 6050, which is not currently configured onto the board. It's going to be controlling the orientation of this entire vehicle. Like I mentioned, this is going to be my very first thrust vector model rocket. So I'm going to have a lot to learn here. That first test is probably going to look like garbage. And we're just gonna be seeing how it goes. It also has um, two LEDs, which, you know, they're RGB LEDs, um, so they can run from red, green, blue, uh, which makes it look honestly very cool. It also has a buzzer on the back, which gives a nice little noise. Um, depending on the different operations that are going to be used during the flight. It's going to be operating really no differently. As soon as the MPU 6050 detects acceleration, it's just going to begin thrust vectoring, and it's just going to be doing its duties all the way up to Apogee. Coming down, it's probably going to be using some sort of drogue chute system. Now, landing legs for this thing, probably not on the first or second flights. Once I get more comfortable with it and more like the drogue chute mechanisms, then we'll get into that. But essentially, until then, we're probably just going to be using small parachutes that are just going to aerodynamically um, keep the vehicle relatively vertical and stable on its way down I um, mean then possibly releasing bigger parachutes as what they do with SpaceX and Blue Origin for the first flight of this thing I am probably going to just use anywhere from a D motor a D125 to an E96 um, that's for its first official flight it's gonna be running a lot of tests before then um, we're gonna be using um, possibly EDFs we're possibly gonna be using just small AA3 motors that give like little to no thrust. I've actually done tests like this in the past. I said I'll probably do some across the way on where I live and I'll be videotaping those in future updates. First payload on this thing is going to be weather related, surprisingly, because I mean, Weather World, you know, it's a YouTube channel, you know, obviously about weather and science. So before I wrap this up, I, I encourage you guys, whoever's watching this video, subscriber or not, I encourage you to go down the comment section down below right now and tell me a name for this rocket. Right now, I just cannot think of anything. I'm so bad when it comes to rocket names or anything related to that, so help me out down in the comment section down below. You don't have to, but it would be nice. It'd be good to help your boy out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. Check out some of my other content um, because honestly, it's quite fire in my opinion. Um, it's gotten a lot better over the months. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this update and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.